The following presentation of the Mass is made possible by your generous support of the Catholic TV Network. The Catholic TV Network welcomes and invites you to celebrate the sacred mysteries, listen to God's Word, and in the Holy Eucharist, proclaim the victory of Jesus over death until He comes in glory. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow in his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. my 
like a gentle lamb to slaughter. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply moved and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, what are you going to what are you what you are going to do do quickly now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him some thought that since judas kept the money bag jesus had told him buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor so judas took the morsel and left at once and it was night when he had left jesus said now is the son of man glorified and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come, so now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. You will follow later. Jesus speaks this to not just St. Peter, but to each of us as we go throughout Holy Week, but really as we go throughout our lives. Because in some way this could be seen as Jesus foreshadowing or prophesying about Peter's future crucifixion himself. He will follow Jesus later by being crucified himself as his form of martyrdom as well. But he's also looking to us as well. Being a disciple of Christ is not easy. And the reality of it is put on grand display during this week. The passion, the death of Christ, such a vivid imagery that is used, really helps kind of make this known to us and reiterates it for us on a yearly basis. But even now, even though with what we are about to experience over the course of the week as we follow Jesus during this week, our sinfulness will be put on display for us all to see. The reality of what our words and of what our actions do have, that have eternal consequences will be made more readily known to us. But it's only so that we can more fully appreciate what it truly is that Jesus does for us so that we can not just mire in shame, but rather, rather be able to turn and give thanks to God for all that he does for us, all that he did for us. And so it is that our discipleship is not easy. Suffering will come. But the recognition of our sinfulness, of what sufferings we may endure along the way, can help us to imitate St. Peter, as it were, so that we can come to the, this recognition on a more realistic basis, appreciate more deeply what Jesus did and still does in our lives today, but that also, like St. Peter, 
we can become a light to the nations with the strength of God aiding us along the way. So let us follow St. Peter in his following of Jesus. Give thanks to God for all he did, all that he does, so that we too, even confronted with the reality of our sinfulness this week, may still, by the grace of God, by his strength dwelling in us, become a light to the nations and follow him as now is later. Together, let us stand and offer to our Heavenly Father our prayers, needs, and petitions. That we will stop choosing violent words and actions as a form of entertainment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will not choose deceit and lies as our way of living in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That oppressors of the most vulnerable will have their hearts broken open by your mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. That the suffering and sick will find refuge in you, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have died be rejoicing in you in whom they have long hoped, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. God, our gracious and loving Father, we, your children, come before you today asking you to hear and answer these prayers that we have faithfully made known to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in in their fullness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Let's see. 
are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to offer to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Peter, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Thank mm -hmm. you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. worshiped God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord has invited us to the altar, and this great prayer has brought benefit to ourselves, the church, and the whole world. Please help the television mass to continue by sending a donation to Bishop Reed, the Catholic TV Network, P.O. Box 9196, Watertown, Massachusetts, 02471. Join us anytime on Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire, or watch and contribute online at catholictv.com.